You know, I'd like to think that season 7 is the answered prayer season because a lot of the episodes tackle FAQs of the review and analysis communities and has granted commonly shared wishes. Celestia's potential character development? Addressed. Proof of Fluttershy becoming a more assertive pony? Addressed. Rainbow Dash's parents? Addressed. Celestia and Luna episode? Addressed. Applejack's parents? Addressed. Very few episodes this season have made me either mildly dislike or genuinely hate them. The scale has mostly been one-sided. Seeing these dreams and wishes come to life in the canon world of My Little Pony is refreshing and puts a little faith back into the community. And I honestly wonder if the writers are paying attention and having open ears towards us. After season four, I wondered where the show was going to go. I started to wonder if the writers' ideas were dwindling and if the show would take a dive. Well, it sure as hell hasn't yet. Many new lessons are being presented, and while the show has moved away from the story mode vibe, we still get these slice of life episodes that are very well written and are just fun to watch. And the characters are more relatable and understandable now that the episodes are slice of life. I've noticed that the episodes that have tackled the fandom's headcanons come from the same writers. Joanna Lewis and Christine Sonko. They've written Celestial Advice, A Royal Problem, and The Perfect Pair. Bravo, you two! The Perfect Pair is my favorite episode this season. I went into it with both excitement and dread in the sense that, while I was overjoyed to hear that an episode tackling Applejack's parents was being made and released, I was also nervous as to if it would be a smashing success or a complete flop. I mostly enjoyed the episode for the reason that it was aesthetic in its visuals, emotionally tugging in its story, and was just downright adorabetes. It brings in the classic tale of Romeo and Juliet, which I'm already a sucker for. While we still don't know what happened to them in the end, we know who they are, what they are like, and how much they cared for one another. I'll go into more depth about it when I review it, but for the most part, it was beautifully done. My least favorite episodes are probably Not Asking for Trouble and Honest Apple. Both of these episodes left some form of a bad taste in my mouth. Not Asking for Trouble made me dislike Prince Rutherford for his behavior and his character, and Honest Apple was just cringy for me practically the entire time, but those two reviews are for another day. Overall, Season 7 has proven to me that the show hasn't died for me yet. I personally don't mind the transition they've made from story to slice of life, and while naturally not every episode was on the positive side for me, the majority were. Although I am a tad concerned as to where things go from here. We've apparently got three more episodes on the way, and based on their descriptions, I have a hint of doubt. Triple Threat sounds interesting, though. Amber and Ponyville? Oh boy. And so, with the music playing, I am Cavatina, and I will see you on the next Starry Night. Very few episodes this season have made me mind the bad. Yeah, if I could read, that would be great. <laughs> Seeing these dreams and wishes come to life in the canon world of My Little Pony is refreshing and puts a little faith that. <laughs> <laughs> I started to wonder if the writer's ideas are dwindling. We're dwind- we're dwindling. We d <laughs> We still get these slice of life f f yeah. I went to it with both excitement and dread in the sense that, while I was overjoyed to hear that an episode tackle- I should probably take a breath somewhere so I don't run into fair. I was also nervous as to if it would be a complete six five that that's not the line. That's not what it says, Nova. Are you fucking an idiot? Not asking for trouble made me dislike Prince R R R R R Whoa, I didn't even <laughs> I didn't read the script over before I recorded this, so now I just stumbled upon this dude's name and I'm just like blah <laughs> Nope. Abort abort. Nobody know. Ruther Ruther Rutherford. Rutherford. Yeah, that's not gonna f***ing ruin my take 700 times. Not asking for trouble made me dislike Prince Rutherford's... Not asking for trouble made me dislike Prince Rutherford's... There's no S there, goddammit.